I'm at a fairly weird point in my software engineering career, so I feel at the same time both starting to actually gain competence, but also being completely and totally 100% incompetent and kind of worried about how things are going to go into the future. So for some context, I am brand new to software engineering. I first got a four month internship and now I converted that over to a full time software engineering position and have been at the position for two months now. So first let me explain why I feel like I am actually starting to gain competency and then talk about why I feel like I'm not competent at all. So the competency part comes from when I was first starting at my internship. They gave me a whole bunch of embedded systems code. They just gave me the software and said, here you go, have fun, and then left. I had no idea what I was doing. I was looking through all of the files. I was so confused. I didn't know what anything did. I didn't know what I2C was. I didn't know what USART was. I didn't know what, how to communicate with any of the electrical uh, components. I didn't know how to read data sheets. I didn't know how to do any at all any of the topics which they were asking me to do for my internship and i was so confused i had i literally did not know anything and i was like i am going to fail this i'm not going to be able to do it this is like really maybe i'm not cut out for it right and i remember just looking through just trying to write notes like notebooks this entire thing is full. I have another one. This is the second one. And just writing, 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 trying to understand it. And I didn't know how I was going to do it. That project kind of got put on the back burner. And then they switched me over to another project, which was developing a GUI to be able to uh, help production with testing. So I started doing the GUI and that's the skill set was completely different. That was more Python and tkenter and I, I felt a little bit more comfortable with that. I was like, okay, cool. I can do this one, right? So now they're switching back to the embedded systems. I'm kind of closing out on my GUI that assists production doing uh, quality tested. And now I'm getting back into the embedded systems. So this is where I actually feel a little bit confident because where, when I left it, off in the what was that maybe three months ago I had no idea I was so confused and I was like oh my goodness I felt like I, I got a, a thrown a lifeline a life preserver with the GUI because I was like yes I can I can actually do this one so I was really happy about that and I focused all of my energy on the GUI. Now it's starting to close out and the entire time that I was doing the GUI I was really worried I was like oh my goodness I had to I don't know about those embedded systems. I know that they're going to put me back on it pretty soon. But I, I, I don't know if I'm competent enough for it. So then now that's this is when things are actually starting to transition. So I'm getting back on to the embedded systems. And I remember looking at it and someone was asking me questions about it. And I said, okay, well, I can try to see what's up and I can uh, look at it, right? I actually started to kind of understand what it was doing, right? I'm by no means an expert at all. <laughs> but I mean, I felt like it was possible. I, I knew how to do it. Yeah, it takes a lot of time, right? I'm not going to be able to just speed through it. But I was like, okay, I can kind of understand, at least understand what's going on. I can kind of like, it was not something that was just completely just like looking at some foreign language i was like i can kind of decipher it i can kind of move forward i can kind of actually understand this a little bit right so i feel like i did gain a competence i was like oh my goodness i was actually able to answer his question i wasn't expecting that and so i in one sense, I do feel this sense of confidence. Now, I, in the back of my mind, I'm like, okay, well, I, I think that this is the, the peak of the Dunning-Kruger effect, right? That I, th I think that I know things, but then it's, oof, pretty soon I'm going to find out, oof, don't know anything. Now, 
where does the incompetence come from? The incompetence is, so a, a little bit more context of the company that I'm working at. It is a very, very small company, right? And so I am the software guy. I am the software department. It's me. <laughs> okay, so I am the project manager. I am the software developer. I am the tester. I am the implementer, right? All of those roles are me. So I need to figure out, okay, for the embedded system project, it is, here's the new product that we're making. Here are the electrical schematics. Figure out the requirements and then do it. Uh-oh, <laughs> right? Like I, as of right now, I don't even know where to start. I'm trying to do the project requirements, but I, 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 I don't even know where to start. And I'm worried, like, I d don't know their expectations of me. I don't know if, I obviously I wanna do a really good job, right? But I'm worried that it's going to be a situation where, what if they don't like it, right? What if that, what if they find out that maybe I'm not as competent as they think that I am? And I, I looked at the guy who I replaced, right? He was like a senior engineer. I, <laughs> I looked him up on LinkedIn. <laughs> um, but anyway, so the, the person who used to be at the company, he was a senior engineer, and then he left, I came in. And so I'm like worried that, okay, well, what if I'm not able to actually accomplish the the requirements that the they've set out for me. And so my managers are extremely kind. They're very very they're wonderful, right? But I also know that it's a company, right? And if I, for example, this new product if the thing that holds it up is the software department is not able to produce the software. They're going to change the software department, right? And so that is very concerning to me. I'm just extremely stressed out about this. And even creating the requirements, I'm trying to think like, okay, well, what does that even mean? What? And so I'm slowly working through it. I think I, I think I kind of understand what's going on now is, okay, well, let me not look at what's actually happening in the software, but let me just focus on what does the product actually do? What does it do? And then after I figure out what it does, then I can say, okay, what, how does the software assist what it's doing? I don't know if I'm on the right track though. I have no idea. I've never launched a product. I've never, all of the, like, all of my assignments in school are just develop. They, they give you the requirements, right? Like, your software needs to be able to, uh, I don't know, identify, take in a vectorized uh, image run it through a neural network and get a 95% accuracy or something like that. It's right. It's very black and white and you know what's going on here. It's so ambiguous and I'm just freaking out about this because obviously, as I said, it's my first job. I really want to do a good job. I really want to grow as a software engineer. And luckily I'm really growing at this company. I'm really improving my skills i'm really developing my skills my software engineering skills my product development skills right the, the entire life cycle of the product i get to see all aspects i get to take the figure out what the requirements are i get to develop it i get to talk with the relevant uh, stakeholders ask them is this what you want and then revise my product blah 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 back and forth back and forth then actually implement it and each step of the way, it's very ambiguous, but I did it with the GUI and it was difficult when I did it with the GUI because I didn't know, again, like whenever you do a project for school, you don't actually put it up. 
You don't implement it. You just submit it. You say, here you go, professor. You give it to your professor and then you never think about it again. Whereas this, it's like, okay, well, I developed the software. Great, how's production gonna get it? Do they have Python? What materials do they need? Do they need physical materials, right? So they don't have Python, how are they gonna run your script? Uh-oh, <laughs> right? All of these things I need to, to think about. And so I did it with that. So I'm hoping that it's gonna be a little bit easier the second time but this time is very different than the, the GUI because it's even more ambiguous. It's just looking at the hardware and from the hardware trying to deduce what their new product needs for software. So learning a lot, but very, very stressed out. Um, and the reason that I'm making this video is just to document my progress through software engineering and talking about, okay, well, what are the different um, milestones, right? Like during my internship, I had uh, these experiences. Okay, well, what's a normal experience? I mean, that's gonna be up to you guys, right? Each person is gonna have a different uh, experience with software engineering. But I, I wanna document my experiences, that way I can give people kind of like a, a little bit of a reference. Like, okay, well, this is what he happened during his internship. Okay, well, now I'm two months into my software engineering experience, right? So in total, six months of software development. I did the exact same thing. It was just a continuation from my internship to software engineering. So, okay, well, during this time frame, here's my experience you might not have this experience, right? If you're at a different company, maybe if it's a bigger company, you're not gonna really have this experience, but I kinda wanna give this, <clears throat> just explain what, what I'm going through. Other people might be able to use it as a reference, say, okay, well, I'm thankful that I saw that video and now I don't feel as alone, right? Like, cause I have no idea, again, I have no idea what other people are experiencing because I'm, I'm a team of one right? Everyone else on my team is either a senior engineer or a principal engineer, and they're electrical engineers, right? All of them are electrical, don't know anything about software. I'm the, the, the new one, okay? So I don't know what skill set I'm supposed to have. I don't know what level I'm supposed to be. I don't know what output I'm supposed to be. I don't know what I have no idea how I'm doing. I don't know if I'm doing good. I don't know if I'm doing bad. I don't know if, I have no idea. And I, I'm stressed out about, okay, well, what what's gonna happen in three months? Is the company gonna, it, am I actually doing a bad job? And then the company comes and they're like, sorry, we have to let you go because X, Y, Z, right? I'm gonna be completely blindsided. If I kind of knew, okay, maybe my, my output isn't high and they're not happy with that but my quality of the code is okay then i can work on this but right now i have no idea i have literally no idea so it's it's really uh, and i can't ask anyone either right like normally i would just say hey how's this going right but as i just said everyone around me is a hardware person so they don't really know how my code, the quality of my code. They don't really know about that. So it's, it's not, I guess it's about the result, right? Like, does my product work? And I'm concerned if I will be able to get my product to work to their standard that they're hoping. I don't know. And this is also coming at the same time that I'm releasing my GUI to production. So I'm re releasing this product and then ramping this product back up. So I'm doing two projects at the same time. Both of them, I am the product manager, I am the developer, I'm all of this. So right, like it's exciting that I'm part of that. But it's also extremely concerning, worrying, nervous. I'm with my GUI, like I've tested it so many different times, but that doesn't mean that it's gonna work for them, right? Like if you're doing a math problem, 
okay you do it one time and you get to an answer and it's the wrong answer then you do it again you get to the same wrong answer because you make the same mistake during the calculation okay the one person doing testing right you if you do the problem and then you do it again it's very easy for the same person to come up with the same wrong answer because they make the same mistake if someone else does it right they're going to go and they they might make a different mistake and get a different wrong answer but then at least you know that eh, something's up there's a discrepancy so i've tested my code but i don't know if it actually works i don't know if it, there's a latent bug in there or something there has to be right i mean it's like 5000 lines of code that i wrote completely so there has to be many bugs in it i just don't know where and I don't know, that one I feel a little bit more calm because it's towards production. It's not their actual product. So the GUI is going into production and pr the assemblers and technicians are going to use that GUI to kind of perform tests on the product to determine quality. And so that one, I'm able to kind of get their feedback, tweak it, and if there's a problem, hopefully there isn't, but I'll, I'll be able to, to address it. The other one, I'm, I'm just worried. <laughs> so that's kind of the state that I'm in right now. And as I said, I just want to make this video kind of talking about, okay, well, what's going on in my life? What's going on in my career? just documenting the process along the way. I'm extremely happy to be at this company. I'm re I really like that I'm learning so much. And as I said, like it's not just I'm learning how to do coding or something like this. I'm also learning many different skills within engineering. I'm learning software development, but also learning electrical engineering. I'm learning like how to do all of those low level programming. I'm learning how to communicate with electrical devices. I'm learning how to read data sheets. I'm learning how to uh, do all of those engineering things. In addition, I'm learning, okay, well, how do you actually develop a product? How do you, what is the life cycle of a product? How do you define requirements? How do you, you take those requirements and actually implement them? I'm learning so much and I'm very, very happy just worried, just stressed. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, just a quick documentation of my, my process and I will keep making videos, updating you guys. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Today is June 5th of 2024. There we go. <laughs> my name is Timothy Lee Grant and I will see you in the next video. All right. Have a good day.